I'm Steve Steinberg from Vaporize It. We're the original importers of the uh, Volcano Vaporizer and the uh, new Mini Vape. And uh, today we're going to be demonstrating how to use the Mini Vape. Setup of the Mini Vape. Setup of the Mini Vape is very easy. Connect your battery to the Mini Vape by lining the white dot on the battery up with the white dot on the Mini Vape. Turn a quarter turn clockwise to the lock position and an indicator light will light up showing you you're connected. Install your lid and then assemble your two piece mouthpiece by connecting the elbow to the tip and snap into place. To turn the mini vape on just simply hold the positive and the negative switch down together for five seconds and the mini vape will light up. It'll cycle through its temperature settings, blue, pink, green, and red. And on the back you'll see the battery indicator, green showing full charge. Dial your temperatures up. You'll use the positive button. To dial your temperatures down, you'll use the negative button. It's very easy to go up in temperature. Simply hold your button down and it'll cycle from blue to pink. Hold it down again and it'll cycle from pink to green. Hold down again and it'll cycle from green to red, your highest temperature setting. To lower your temperatures, you'll hold the negative switch down and it'll cycle from red to green, from green to pink, from pink to blue, your lowest temperature setting. Connect your 110 power cord to the converter. Plug the converter into the charging base. Plug the power cord into any standard 110 wall outlet and then place the mini vape on the charger base. Using the mini vape is very simple. Once you've dialed in your desired temperature, wait for the light to stop blinking. Remove your lid. The filler chamber is a little bit smaller than the size of your thumb and you're just going to fill the inner ring. You don't want to pack it hard, you just want to loosely pack it. And if you're going to use pollens or oils, you're going to want to use the pollen cup or the oil disc. Don't put it directly in the filler chamber. Put your lid on and then draw through the mouthpiece. For cooler vapor, you can use a silicone tube with the mouthpiece tip. Cleaning the mini vape. With normal use, you're going to want to clean your mini vape about once a week. It's very simple. You're going to use rubbing alcohol, q tips, paper towels, and a toothpick. Clean all your surfaces with um, rubbing alcohol to remove all material. And you can use a q tip with rubbing alcohol on it to get some of the harder places. You're going to want to remove the silicone tube or mouthpiece tip. Remove the cone from the lid. There's a small black o-ring. You're going to want to reuse that so don't lose it. Pop your screen out with a toothpick. Screens can be thrown away and just replaced. Use alcohol to clean all the surfaces and a toothpick to get into some of the harder grooves. A wadded up piece of uh, paper towel with alcohol for some of the harder places to reach. And remember to clean your lid. The silicone tube can be used a few times, but you'll want to replace it after a while. You can clean it out with a Q-tip with alcohol on it. Use the other end to dry. 
cleaning brush provided to clean your filler chamber. Replace your screen on the lid. Put the O-ring back into place. Put the cone back in the lid. Screw into place. Replace your battery. Put the mouthpiece back into place and it's ready for use. The 12 volt adapter. The mini vape will work on 12 volts. Remove your battery, replace with the 12 volt adapter, plug in your 12 volt power cord, give us a call for special colors and graphics.